Dear colleagues, this is fecal emulsification of a soft cataract. Let us see the surgical steps. This is the main incision. It is a 2.8 millimeter main incision. The patient is under topical anesthesia. This is viscoelastic substance HPMC. The HPMC has been sprayed over the epithelial surface of the cornea also it improves visibility now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and another side port is made on the left side of the main incision so we have two side ports and one main incision now dexis is to be done this is a 26 case main needle the capsule is incised and a capsular flap has been raised. Now this capsular flap is held with a uterator forceps. And see, I'm going to do rexis very slowly and you'll be able to see the entire movement of rexis in this case. Grasp three times and complete the rexis. This is a uterus forceps and this has been a fairly round rexis. Now hydrodissection is done. Fluid wave moves from one side to the other side. I have attempted hydrodelineation also in this case. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Now we know that in soft cataracts it is not possible to chop the nuclear mass. So what to do? In this case I am going to employ my hat technique. Hat, H-A-T. Hat means hold and tilt technique. I'll remove some superficial cortical lens matter. Then at a deeper plane I will hold the nucleus. Here it is. I'm trying to hold the nucleus and I have tilted the nucleus and I have started eating off the nucleus from one equator and now I have gone almost half of the nucleus and this is the remaining half and that's it the nucleus is eaten off in no time so this is a beautiful technique, hat technique, hold and till technique. If we try to chop, if we try to divide and conquer, it is going to take a long time. And hat technique is very fast and very safe. The important word is safety because the equator which is towards the posterior capsule, it keeps the posterior capsule pushed towards the vitreous cavity and it will not catch the posterior capsule. So you are using the nuclear mass as an instrument to push to push the posterior capsule. And now the cortical lens matter has been removed using a Simco cannula. Now let us see what is the next? This is irrigating probe of bimanual IA. I am using the irrigating jet of fluid to polish the posterior capsule. This is, I call it hydro polish. Polishing with the help of water. Polishing with the help of water. Hydro polish. So I am not using aspiration. I'm not using any suction. I'm just using the jet of fluid and I have polished the nucleus. Now here it is. This is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. It is being implanted under irrigation. Dear colleagues, this is an unedited video and you are going to watch each and every step of the surgery. The eye well has been loaded in into the cartridge by my assistant and so uh, there uh, some time was saved in saved there now this is 
moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are hydrated with BSS so that these stab incisions become watertight. And now this is the final wash with BSS. That's it. Hope this is the how I form the entire chamber. Hope this video will help you in developing your skills. Thank you very much for your attention.